Hey again, it's Thursday, June 21st, 2021. When I sign books, I always usually write, take imperfect action. I think too many people get caught up with, well, I'm gonna wait until the time is right or I can uh, do this perfectly. There is no perfect. And I just wanna uh, say, take imperfect action. If you have something you wanna do, you do it now. And an example of this, I was working out before and uh, as I'm getting older, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit smarter. I mean, I'm having a little bit slight pain in my right knee. Today was leg day, and I went about warming up and, and doing um, exercises uh, uh, that would warm up the opposing areas prior to going to an area that would be a little bit more direct on there. Anyway, my point is, um, the title of this video, The Nucleus of Pain, um, you know, these days I just want to lean up. So I'm not working on mu maximal muscle mass or heavy, heavy, heavy weights. Uh, some things are heavy, but you know, I'll always be a bodybuilder at heart. But my point is, um, the nucleus of pain in the workout today was the uh, squat exercise. Now, I don't mean pain in a bad way, uh, pad pain. I mean pain in a way that mentally I just, it, it was the most taxi, taxi exercise. Uh, I, I really didn't want to do it, and um, I didn't want to use pain pain as an excuse. If legitimately my knee hurt by the time I got there, I would have aborted and done something else. Uh, the knee was warmed up and ready to go, so I faced the nucleus of pain, knowing it would only be really a few seconds. I mean, the time that I allotted to the negative, oh, I don't want to do this or that, by the time I do it, it was over and done. So the nucleus of pain, get in there, you know, face it and get it done. Uh, it reminded me of uh, years ago, I remember in another gym, this, this guy, he was big into MMA at the time, and he went and bought all the shoes and all the gear and all this, that, and all these things, right? And he did, in my opinion, uh, observation, you know, he spent, bought the latest this and that, and when it finally came down to it, right, with his training, I just, I thought it was lackluster at best. A lot of people try to buy their way through things, um, and you can't. Now, there's nothing wrong with buying things and being prepared. Um, you know, um, I have uh, my books for the next semester, I have study guides and things of that nature, but my point is, I'm still going to have to get in there and do the work. I'm doing the work now. Last uh, two weeks uh, I went to school, there was two optional, well, four total optional days. I'm not saying this to boast, I'm saying that I'm proud that I went uh, to keep my skills sharp. And that just shows me that I'm, I'm hungry, I really, really want this, and it was also facing the nucleus of pain. I didn't want to be there necessarily during the summer, but I went. And I'm glad I went because it was um, very well worth the price of admission, which was free, but my point is, I'm so glad that I went and um, I went to all four and um, so sort of, you know, face the nucleus of pain. But what I'm trying to get at is um, sometimes you have to rocky it. In my opinion, what that means is put on the torn shirt and the, the shoes that are lackluster and everything and, and, and do the work. No matter what we buy or whatever uh, fanciful preparations, it comes down to doing the work. Uh, an example, um, I have someone later come into the house to do a service and they gave me, you know, they gave you the window and I don't want to be trapped at the house all day, but I do want to be here for that service to make sure that it's done, you know, correctly. So uh, I faced the nucleus of pain, and I did legs early today. And I actually just got back. I got up, I had my breakfast, I went, did my workout, and um, faced the nucleus of pain. So if you're getting anything from this video, which will be shorter than um, my usual length of videos, because I just had a couple things I wanted to say, but you know, face it. Do the prep work and stop making excuses. I am one of these people, um, I don't say this to boast, but I start something and I finish it. There is no backing off, there is no quitting. There is coming back to it later, there is doing a little bit more prep sometimes, but there is completion. And we live in this world of uh, people want it now and quick, you know, in their way. And, and, and sometimes I'm this way too, but I always remember, what is it that I'm trying to achieve? On my uh, fridge the other day, it felt great to be able to cross off. One of my goals for this year is uh, to listen to these audiobooks and books. And I've already listened and read so many more books since I've had the break for the summer for school uh, than I even anticipated. And it feels really good to cross off a goal. So um, I think it's important to always have goals, but to also to not quit, to, 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 to get those goals accomplished. And I just see people quitting. And it's like, why? I mean, you really can do whatever you want to do in this life. I mean, 
I mean, you really can, you know, like here I am reinventing myself from a published author, uh, a former bodybuilding champion, and now I'm uh, studying to be a nurse. And, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with changing the goal and reinventing oneself, provided I think one is crossing off the goals as their uh, journey continues. So anyway, everybody be good, have a good summer. Oh, last thing I wanted to say, just expressing gratitude. Um, a year ago at this time, I was just not having a good time. It was very rough for me, and I am, I'm so happy to be where I am right now. I am just so much better physically, mentally, so I'm strong again, confident again, um, just really, really happy. So any dark cloud that's above us, and it hits us all from time to time, does pass. The nucleus of pain does not live forever. Everybody be well and have a good summer. Talk to you soon.